Hello, it's me, Kevin Rick, and in this video, we're going to talk about how to determine the domain and range of a rational function given its graph. So uh, take note that domain is the set of all the x values and the range is the set of all the y values. So actually, kung binigyan tayo ng set of ordered pairs, it is easier for us to determine the domain and range kasi for the domain, i-enumerate lang natin yung x coordinates. At kung sa range naman, i-enumerate lang natin yung mga y values. But what if we are given a graph? So yung graph okay. na yan, naiplot lang yan na points. So this graph right here is actually not a graph of a rational function. So kala pagkitaan tayo lang dito niya. Um, this is a parabola. And a parabola is a graph of a quadratic function. Alam natin na yung parabola ay mag -e extend yan palawak ng palawak sa taas without limit. Hindi mag -e end yan. Para kasi ma-determine natin yung domain, we are going to look at the horizontal extent of the graph. So ano yung mga x values na naiplat dito sa graph na to? Ano yung mga x values na represented by the graph? So sabi ko nga, ang parabola mag -e extend yan sa taas without limit. So, dito na banda mag -e extend dito na banda mag -e extend We can say, we can conclude na lahat na mga x values ay represented by the graph. Lahat ng mga x values dito ay nakaplot sa graph na to. For us to write the domain, since all numbers from the x-axis are represented in a graph, the domain is the set of all the numbers from negative infinity until positive infinity. Gets po ba? Okay. So, yun ang domain. Domain is the horizontal extent of the graph. Pero paano naman ang range? Well, range is the set of all the y values. So, yung titingnan natin na values dito ay yung mga numbers sa y-axis. So, we are going to look at the vertical extent of the graph. So, kung titingnan natin yung y-axis at saka yung graph, actually, yung graph lang ay dumaan dito sa 1. So, from this point, pataas na yung graph to infinity. So, that is the vertical extent of the graph from 1 until positive infinity. To write the range, we're going to write here from 1 until positive infinity. Is 1 included? Yes. So, we are going to use the square bracket. We're going to close it using the parentheses. So, yun ang domain and range ng graph na to. So, let's try to get the domain and range of a rational function given this graph. Okay, so ulitin natin na ang domain ay yung horizontal extent ng graph. So, tingnan natin yung mga x values na naiplot. So, actually, yung graph natin ay hindi siya dumaan sa zero. So, we are going to mark here zero. At yung graph natin papunta doon sa left without limit. So that is going to the negative infinity. At saka yung graph dito na naman nagsimula sa zero papunta sa right to the positive infinity. That is the horizontal extent of the graph. Since the graph did not really pass through zero here, then zero here is not part of the domain. So to write our domain in interval notation from negative infinity to zero, we are going to use parentheses kasi hindi included si zero sa domain. And from zero until positive infinity. That is the domain of this graph. Now, if we are going to get the range, we are going to look at the vertical extent of the graph. Pansini ng graph, kalamik lang ijay domain, ni graph kathaan nga nagna ijay zero. So pataas yan without limit, pero actually yung graph natin is hindi dumaan sa zero. So pati din dito sa baba, lahat ng numbers sa y-axis nakaplat except kay zero. That is from negative infinity until zero. So ito po yun, from negative infinity until zero. And from zero until positive infinity. 
Okay, so actually, same lang yung domain and range sa graph na ito. Let's have the last example. Okay. Domain, tingnan ang horizontal extent ng graph. Tingnan yung mga numbers sa x-axis na naiplot. Since the graph goes on without limit here, so ulit, so yung graph natin dito walang naiplot na x value. May nakaplot dito na banda, pero dito ulit wala. So may nakaplot naman dito na banda. Yan. Magpapatuloy doon. Kasi actually, kung isu-zoom out natin yung graph, actually, tuloy-tuloy yan. Walang limit yan. Unless, may naka-indicate na endpoint. Pero dito naman, walang naka-indicate na endpoint. So, meaning, the graph will continue without bound. So, the domain is from negative infinity until negative 1, from negative 1 until 1, and from 1 until positive Infinity. So we actually have three intervals here. So to write that, the domain is from negative infinity until negative one, negative one not included, from negative one until one, and from one until positive infinity. Bakit tatlo? Kasi tatlong intervals ito. Is that understood? Well, I hope so. Now we try to determine the range. Okay, so range is the vertical extent. Tingnan natin yung mga nakaplot na numbers sa y-axis. So dito, until sa taas, tingnan natin, this is from 2 until positive infinity. At saka walang graph sa point na to. So walang graph sa point na yan, meaning hindi kabilang ito ah, sa range. Pero my graph dito sa banda na to, pababa sa negative infinity. So to write that, unahin muna natin ito. From negative infinity until zero. Nandito kasi si zero eh. At may nakaplot si zero. So we are going to include zero. And from two to positive infinity. Two to positive infinity. Infinity. Bakit hindi included si 2? Actually, kung isu-zoom out natin yung graph, hindi hindi dadaan yung graph sa linya na to. Remember, rational functions and horizontal asymptotes. Ayun pa. So that's how you get the domain and range of a rational function given its graph.